What's up guys? This is John at Simply Sprouts Farm and it's uh, beginning of August and the weeds and especially the grass in our yard here um, have really taken off and you can till and you can spray the vinegar and soap and Epsom salt like we did in the other video only so much before it's time to call in reinforcements. So we'll call in any reinforcements today to take care of this weed and grass. Stay tuned, we'll show you how we do it. Folks, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of grass growing up here, especially at the front. And you know, I like to leave a little barrier anyway between my electric fence and the crops, so not surprising. But uh, you can see where I've tried to till through and it hasn't worked very well. So we're going to call in reinforcements. Anyway, this right here, you probably could remember from an earlier video we called Death to Squash Bugs. And uh, this is what happened to the plants. The plants, they're still alive. Um, and I think one of them here is probably can still produce something, maybe two of them. But we're gonna burn this area here too and uh, try to put something else in. I got plenty of pumpkins over here growing, looking good. We're gonna, we're gonna burn this up and uh, take it from there. Last but not least, this was our cucumbers and the splash bugs got to them too. So, we're gonna burn this area up. I don't know if you can even tell, but I've got two rows of peppers here and a whole lot of grass in the middle. And my tiller is too wide to get in there. So we're gonna try something else today. So this is a propane torch. And it's exactly what you think it is. Okay, I go to the propane here. Got mine years ago at Harbor Freight and the Indians, they used to burn ground. Um, the biochar, I guess they produced from it. Um, they said helped with the ground and the, everything and it works really well. Let's get it going. All right, you can see I've kind of gone along here right now. Sometimes the weeds don't look like you got them really good, but uh, next day or so they'll, they'll topple over. A couple of safety features you got to talk about here. Please, first of all, read this manual cover to cover, and hopefully you have some kind of experience with using something like this. If not, bring a buddy. First of all, you can see over here, I got a hose, water's on. I've already used it to put out a little brush fire right here that got away from me. I didn't want it to get too close to the fence. See, how, see where it went. So you gotta have water on you. Second, you have got to keep your propane tank away from the fire and where you burned do not set the propane tank down okay and uh, third you've got to put this thing at an angle if you try to burn straight flat down the uh, the force of uh, the air will actually blow out your torch I'll show you that here in a second Alright, got the torch on, makes a little bit of noise. And all you do is pull that torch. And even at that angle, I got it blew out. You've really, you've really got 
to angle it and use a slow sweeping motion or the air will just blow back up in here and and knock you out so something to keep in mind After effects <clears throat> down to deep south people might have thought the Sherman came through you can see I don't want to get too close to my mater's over here so most of the burning I got up here at the top around but it definitely does does a good job it was down here where the squash or they took it out I, I kept this one because you still got a couple little babies growing on it these two here so I'll let them keep going actually three plants if they can produce something one thing about this this is where the cucumbers were you uh, get hot and tired really quick so some of these cucumbers plants are still alive I did a little burning, but uh, I didn't want to. I want to give him a shot, see if he'll come back to life. I'd love to pickle some cucumbers, and maybe, maybe one or two of these plants will make it. Anyway, guys, again, this is uh, something you should try, maybe with help from at least one, if not two people. Keep a hose close by. Also, check your county or government burning ordinances make sure you're doing it at the right time of day or whatever and uh you know i haven't brought this thing out in a few years but we got behind with the grass and grass it can once it gets tall it's so hard to kill uh this works really well so hope you enjoyed our, our video today if uh if you like it please subscribe to our channel and uh please press like if you liked it and um look forward to making some more videos really soon until then We'll be seeing you.